in October, about a hundred workers at a flower farm were found to have been exposed to toxic chemicals after being examined in a hospital. <laughs> They were employed by Royal Van Zanten, which operates in Wakiso District. The Federation of Uganda Women's Lawyers, FIDA, led by the Executive Director Irene Ovonji, said they would sue the Dutch-owned flower farm. However, leaders of the National Organization of Trade Union, NOTU, today accused the FIDA of usurping its powers and attempting to scuttle a settlement between the flower farm and the victims. It has created an impression that there is nobody who is taking care of workers in this country, which is wrong. The problem they have faced is the problem of men and women, workers, not women. The mere fact that the women are the majority during that time does not qualify that now Peter takes over. A similar incident happened in Mukono. So how long are we going to sit back? Assuming these women died, would not to today stand up to say that we are out here because it's a gender issue or it's a women's issue? Had they lost their lives in that incident, would they, make it, would they be making these same statements? It is in our mandate to protect and promote the rights of Ugandans. But what we don't want is where some people are hijacking the issue to use it to benefit them. And these are Ugandans. And we come in to support them as Ugandans. And also we come in to support them as a human rights organization, uh, organization that would do this in any circumstance where rights are violated. So we are not making this a women's issue. Several women who work at the flower farm develop strange symptoms. And on being examined by a doctor, it was discovered that they were exposed to toxic chemicals that could result into cancers. So we did the urinalysis source first of, uh, among the tests we did. We did the computer blood count which showed us increased uh, cells, mostly eosinophils were high, and we did electrolytes, which were also a little bit affected because of vomiting and diarrhea. Looking later, just five, day, five years to come, is dropping cancer of the lung, cancer of the, of the GIT, and other types of cancers. That's how they come about. Give me that report. Because for me, may I deal with the facts? Bring that medical report and ask Mr. Werike, what have you done about this cancer case? It is very unfortunate that no two would make such careless statements, especially in an issue of human rights, where rights have been violated, rights of Ugandans have been violated. Are you making now noise when there has ever been the same one problem in Revanson, in one of the farms, which we worked out and put right? The trade minister, Media Chamber Day, however, accused the women of sabotaging investors and warned that she will deal with anyone doing so. And we are not going to allow other people to kill our flower industry. We are going to fight. Don't joke with me. I'm not a joke. You can joke with other people out there. But handle me with care. So I want to clarify that the Honor of Amelia has chambered coming to intervention. This is not her first time. She has always been doing it. Not to say it's as a workers union body. It has undertaken negotiations to ensure that the victims are duly compensated. The company has taken over paying all the bills. Jingo Francis, NTV, Weekend Edition.